But if you gon' snitch, talk a lot Them gon' be your last snitch words on the block When I'm not talk, I make a nigga nervous Told him drop his location if he got the courage What's up with the Charles Big Balls coming back with another Before You Buy of this baby right here Blutie Chanel the OG The regular, the toilette the 2010 banger, the one that kick started the whole generation and made this scent one of the most well-renowned, highest smelling, sexiest scents out there. But that's according to y'all. This is my before you buy, okay? I'm about to tell you honestly how I feel about Bloody Chanel, okay? Now, check this out. I got Bloody Chanel Parfum, Bloody Chanel Eau de Parfum, Blue Chanel Toilette. Understand, Toilette is the freshest version of all of them. Okay? But with that being said, this is also the most generic version of all of them. See, I have a different opinion about Blue Chanel. I look at this like, yes, it smells very good, but yes, it's very generic. This is the most safest fragrance you can buy ever in existence. I'm talking about this is the grab and go. This is just like, you know for a fact it smells good. But the thing is, it's moderate in every category that you get it in, you know what I mean? Like the projection, moderate. It's not bad, it's not good. The longevity, moderate. It don't, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not like weak, but it's not strong as hell. It's just in the middle, you know what I'm saying? The scent profile, just fresh and clean and woody and citrusy. That's not the best scent profile, and that's not the worst scent profile. It's really in the middle. Blue Chanel is the most safest, regular, moderate fragrance to just like ever come out, okay? And I think that's why it's very popular. And I think Dior Sauvage knew that. Like Dior knew that, okay? Dior looked at Blue Chanel and was like, bro, they came out with this regular ass fragrance, the fuck? And then they was like, man, watch this come out with our version of our regular ass fragrances. So now we got just two regular ass kings just battling. But it's like, y'all both still regular as hell. Sauvage is regular. This is regular. Until Blue Chanel can come out with an elixir like how Dior did. Man, Blue Chanel, y'all are, you know what I mean? Not that, just, just, y'all not that special to me. You feel me? It's very, very ordinary. Even though Blue Chanel Eau de Parfum is the most favorite fragrance from all my subscribers and everybody look at that fragrance as a number one fragrance in the whole designer line just because it's just so safe to buy doesn't make that one in my opinion the best fragrance to buy okay i feel like you should smell very unique everybody smells like this because everybody got it because everybody wants to be safe don't nobody want to like you know what i'm saying yeah, go outside their comfort zone and get something that's more unique and get something that that smells different like maybe you should layer this with something else if you like this try to be unique i wouldn't be trying to be like everybody else but let's get into like the notes of this fragrance okay the notes inside Blue chanel is that grapefruit lemon ginger pink pepper incense vetiver patchouli you know what i'm saying a whole lot of woodsy scents inside the dry down you know what i'm saying of this fragrance and so once it's dry down you're gonna get a whole bunch of foresty woods going on with this okay Let me get into the unboxing. So this box was the only box that had this silver finish on all the edges of the box. It had like the matte finish of blue and the matte finish of blue on the front and back, okay? On the front, you get Blue de Chanel, okay? Let's get that light going. Yeah, you get Blue de Chanel on the front. In the back, you get the ingredients. On the bottom, you get the barcode, okay? Unboxing this fragrance. This is actually not that cheap of a box, like how other fragrances. Like the box feel like a box, but the cardboard just feel a tad bit thicker. But I think it's the finish that's on, yeah, I mean, the box. So this is Billy Chanel right here. Let me get this out. Yeah, I mean, Blue Chanel, okay. That's what we rocking with. That's the bottom, it's the bottle. Let's show y'all the cap. I really like this cap. Bottle design, very ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Kind of reminds me of the Allure brand, but the top is like a magnet, okay? Got that magnet top, okay? The sprayer, very good. Smells very good, real good, real good, okay? So like I said, y'all, the projection isn't that strong, okay? Yes, you can smell it. It's just, I'm letting y'all know this is very generic, okay? 
so many people played it out that it's just not that different to me, okay? And you know, Big Boss is all about being different, unique, okay? This will get you compliments. This fragrance is great for all year round as well. You can wear this in the spring, summer, winter, fall. This is an office fragrance, everyday use. You wanna go to the work, you wanna go to school, you at college, you know what I'm saying? You just wanna go to the grocery store, you just shopping, you wanna go to the mall, you wanna go on a date, you wanna get some of that. You wanna get some of that, great, <laughs> regular fragrance. Now the thing is, you're going to smell like a lot of men. Because if men don't got this, they got this, okay? So it's just like, if you want to be like everybody else, go ahead and grab it. It's very safe, like I said, okay? But if I was going to rate this fragrance out of 10, because it's very safe, you really can't go wrong with it, I can give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, and if you like this review and you want to pick up Blue D Chanel, let me know your experience with Blue D Chanel down below in the description. And if you like this review, make sure you subscribe, hit that notific notification bell button, you know what I'm saying? Like the video, comment below, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, all that fly shit. Okay, I love y'all. I'm Big Boss, Blue D Chanel, and I'm out. But I'm selling that cake Fuck all the talking and fuck all the talking and fuck all the walking got money to make Fuck on a bitch and I don't do a date Came off the streets and I'm paving my way Yeah you on top but I'm counting your days Yeah you on top but I'm counting your days Came to the party with no gun Left up party with a